かと2000もあったThis motherfucker. There's a new Chanel for L. Poop the last white and black tees in the store. And I called the woman, I'm like, listen, I want this hoodie. And she's like, you can't you have can't the hoodie. The hoodies are all sold out. There was literally a yellow one on the mannequin and an orange one around the waist. And I was like, you have two fucking hoodies right here. Like, let me have these hoodies. And she's like, no, these are samples, like display or whatever. And I look at her and I'm like, if there's no fucking hoodies in stock, what's the point of having them out on display, right? So then I was like, all right, whatever, what else do you have? Like, I, this is the long sleeve I wanted. And I walk into the store and they had this one and the white one. They had all the colors in small, but basically, essentially, the woman was like, small is a woman's size. It's not going to fit you. Yeah. And I look at it on the rack and I'm like, this looks like it'll fit me. So I tried on and like it's a little bit like short, but like I can make it work. And then they had one medium in this purple color, which was absolutely terrible. That's if you wearing that purple color, go home. So I was like, all right, you know what? Like I'm never gonna have the chance to buy this shit again. I might as well buy them both. So I told the woman, you know what? I want the white and the black one. And she looks at me and she's like, sorry, it's one piece per customer. She's like, I can't sell you them both. And I look at her and I'm like, listen, what the fuck are you talking about? Like this is a three thousand dollar long sleeve t-shirt. Like people aren't coming in here and buying this. You know, like I want to buy them both. Literally, I'm trying to like pay for this. Yeah. So my mom was with me and I look at her and my mom just like steps up and she's like, alright, I want the white one for me and he wants the black one for him. And then the woman was just there speechless and she's like, alright, like I mean I guess and so I got him both. I'm like scared to lean on chairs. Back home it's like thirty seven fifty. It's like twelve fifty difference and yeah. I wasn't just gonna buy that. Yeah. Ano, Ginza Eki Made Ginza Eki No. Hard. Might need a cop. You dig? This rustic orange is so hard to fuck. Jacket four man, two thousand yen. Pants two thousand yen. Two ten. Ah, nagoya, nagoya blouse. So beautiful. be there welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are having a great day this is part two of the spring summer outfit video part one was a little bit more experimental I did a lot more improvised fits where I didn't really think through I did it all last minute because I honestly wanted to see what I can do but for this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'll be wearing on a day-to-day -day basis I guess more realistic fits where I can really vibe, vibe properly. properly so enjoy the video I know I'm flooding my videos with Issey Miyake please please but this one is very special to me this I consider one of my grails in my closet because I can never find the exact same colorway anywhere else this is a size 3 on my body I'm 6'1 in reference so definitely more of a looser casual and lounger look Sonic Youth tee one of my grails for sure. It took me literally four years to find this dirty bunny tee, which is a fucking myth and impossible to find. I think the color especially complements with the trouser. It has a light pink colorway where it really 
I don't know why it works out so well, but the color tones are really matching here. But yeah, this is pretty much what I would wear uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, nothing really special about it. I mean, I'm just giving you realistic fits that I would wear during spring and summer and hopefully you guys can get some inspiration from it and try to style it your own personal way. So I think a lot of people are mistaken by the fact that you have to wear vintage tees with, you know, like distressed denim, faded denim or shorts or whatever that it has to give off that streetwear aesthetic. But I completely go against the idea of that. I think you can wear vintage tees with literally anything, especially trousers if you style it the right way. It will definitely look better than wearing it with like this dress set. So close up details. I think the back print is what makes this tee. Like it says gracias on the back. How fucking fuego, like. Bruh. Curl Marts belt. Subtle details, nothing really special. That's about it. I think uh, it's a look. I, I honestly would wear this every single fucking day of my life. I can literally wear these with Jordans as well if I wanted to. And I guess this is more of a Japanese streetwear aesthetic. Let me know what you guys think. So a lot of people have been requesting me how to style shorts and it's something that I'm not really familiar with as well but I feel like spring and summer is where you can really take the leap of faith and try different colors out. That's why I went with the rustic orange Issey Miyake Please Please shorts. Um, in my previous section of this video you can see that I was trying different colors out but I feel like black and grey was just way too plain and boring to me. That's why I kind of jumped the gun and went with this one. But yeah, I think the rustic orange really, I don't know how you say it, but it pairs well with a lot of vintage rustic looking clothes. So like a vintage tee or a worn out sneaker, it doesn't have to be Jordan 1s, it could be a worn out Air Force 1s, it can be worn out, I don't know, Reebok Classics or Adidas, what was that called again? Adidas, what was that? The skate shoe. Adidas Gonzalez. I feel like Adidas Gonzalez with these shorts would look fucking fire. Let me know what you guys think. Here are the details. I Obviously, you don't have to style it exactly the way I styled it. You can definitely, you know, put your own taste and tweaks to it. Since the weather gets really bipolar, um, you can definitely throw on a nice cropped jacket. I'll show you guys exactly what it is. But you can definitely wear like a cropped boxy bomber like this during summer nights when it gets a little bit chilly. And voila. You should have the whole outfit speak for you as opposed to, you know, having one piece that emphasizes the entire outfit. Do you know what I mean? So you can do this. Uh, you can definitely do this. All right guys, so here's the nice outfit. Or, you know, you can go with like this, just uh, you know, when it gets cold at night, you can just throw on a nice parka. Basically my point is, I feel like shorts are very underrated. If you don't know how to style shorts, um, just go with the black and gray and just be simple like that. And then you can try to experiment with different colors. And if you feel confident enough, you know, pull off different fits and whatnot. So I feel like it's a vibe. It's a vibe. So when I'm not working, I try to stay away from uncomfortable pants. So denim, for example, I try to stay away from that. So on the weekends, I try to dress as cozy as possible. That's why I gear towards, like I said, sweats, pleats, trousers. I, I really just pull this off right now with a pair of sweatpants, the gel bands, and a white tee. But I know it's very boring and plain. I feel like you can definitely spice this up, which is exactly what I'm gonna show right now. So I don't know how you guys feel about the whole gray sweatsuit look, but I've been kind of feeling it lately. I don't know what you guys think. I fucking wear a suit every day. I literally wear this almost at least once a week, I'd say. And typically I would wear this on a Sunday where I'm not really doing anything and I'm just chilling. This is a very fucking cozy hoodie, man. But essentially why I like this outfit so much is because you can always layer with Pretty much any fucking jacket. I'll just show you an example, hold up. But yeah, here's what I mean. Like you can literally wear a bomber jacket. It doesn't have to be this. It can be literally any bomber jacket. The way the distressing sits on the bomber jacket too is so fire. Like I've never seen 
a hoodie like this where it just sits perfectly on your jacket. I'll show you another example. You can literally wear a coat. Like, and the neck sits so fucking nicely on, on, on your coat. Like, how far is that? It doesn't look too boring. It's not your average hoodie that just sits like whatever, like all the other hoodies do. It really just spices up the look. You dig? Jackets. So I bought this jacket maybe a week ago and I've been wearing it ever since, but it just came out and they sold out within like maybe three hours. I only could find size three, which worked out perfectly for me because like I do have that athletic build, so size three was perfect for me. But I'm gonna be wearing this every day, like during spring and summer. You can leave it open like this or you can definitely zip it up. And it stops in the mid chest area, so it's, it's pretty cool how it just like leaves a collar open like that, so it's very, I guess classy and mature look, which honestly is like my entire wardrobe's aesthetic and it works out with pretty much everything I have. So my main point is just buy clothes that works well with all or most of your clothes in your wardrobe and you're not gonna have any regretful purchases and you're not gonna end up listing it on Grail and selling them within a week. Take that in mind, I've been buying and selling for five, six years now. And now that I've acquired that perspective of you know, what I really need in my wardrobe and what I'm gonna keep and, you know, just being a smarter buyer like I've always mentioned in my previous videos. Um, you just gotta go through the buying and selling phase to really know what works for you and what doesn't. Um, that's why, like, this jacket might not be suitable for a lot of people, but for me, my aesthetic, I, I fucking dig it. So, let me know what you guys think. I think it's a look. And you know what, if you're not really feeling that street smart look, you can definitely go a little bit more casual with a pair of, I don't know, Vans and Rick Owens Astaire trousers like this. I think it's a look. Vans, trousers, t-shirt, jacket. And if you're feeling a little bit more quirky, you can definitely go with the full pleated look. Such as this. Honestly, I wouldn't really wear this, but actually it's kind of fire, huh? Fuck, it's low-key fire. I might actually rock this, not gonna lie. You know what, I might actually pull up and work like this too. I might just be able to get away with this. So I have a thing called the casual Fridays, where on Fridays I can wear business casual clothes. It doesn't have to be a full suit. So I can literally pull up in this and just go about my day. Gang. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty fucking stoked for tomorrow. You know what tomorrow is? Hey, if you know, you know. You know, I'm just gonna tell you. It's Game of fucking Thrones, fam. If you don't watch Game of Thrones, I'll, like fucking binge watch for 24 hours straight. You probably can't even get through all the episodes within 48 hours, so... Hey, if you're late, you're late. Um... What? Are you fucking dumb? But anyway... I am wearing the SA Miyake Blazers, feeling a little bit classy with a cup of coffee in my hand. Um, you know, usually people go with the full pleated look with the blazer as well, but I feel like you can definitely switch it up just like this. Yo, honestly, the predictions for Game of Thrones, obviously you know what's gonna happen. If you guys haven't watched Game of Thrones yet and you guys don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, then stop this video now. Like, if you have friends who watch Game of Thrones, it's literally the only thing you're gonna be talking about the rest of the year. Cheers to Game of Thrones. The one thing you guys don't know about me is that I'm a big John Mayer fan. And he finally came to Tokyo and did a collaboration with Neighborhood Official. Um, it's basically a Japanese Americana brand, but he basically performed at this pop-up event called... I forgot what it was called. But he performed at this pop-up event at Trunk Hotel. My friend, he works at Spotify, and I was fortunate enough to be invited to this event through him, and the craziest thing happened. He basically brought me all the way to the front of the little stage area, like a little podium. Um, I was three meters away from this fucking god. T and I, Connor, uh, we always talk about how amazing John Mayer is and how he's passionate about like just everything in general, life, fashion, food, watches, art. Obviously, I idolize this guy. 
and I was able to see him three meters away performing New Light, which is one of my favorite songs right now. Here's a little clip showing you guys exactly what I'm talking about. I'm the boy in your other phone Lighting up inside your driving home all alone Pushing 40 in the friend zone We talk and then we walk away every day Oh, you don't think twice about me And maybe I'll ride to down the bed But if you give me And then, obviously his voice literally made my body vibrate Pause but it's true. I would never thought I would go gay for someone until I saw him perform live. If you are a John Mayer fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, this guy, this man is, is a fucking legend. I could have easily gotten a photo with him, but there's this thing between Japanese culture is that you don't kind of disrespectful to, you know, ask for a photo with someone famous. Like, I've seen Kanye, I've seen ASAP Rocky walking around in Tokyo before. But no one would bother to ask them to get a photo with them. Anyway, back with the fits. A lot of people are fed with this preconceived notion that you have to wear Jordans with jeans or anything that has to do with like a streetwear aesthetic. I honestly completely go against the philosophy of that. You can definitely wear Jordans with trousers as long as you style them well. Anything you wear, as long as it fits on your body and it fits good and it looks great, and it works, then it's a look. Like, honestly, like, the very fundamental of fashion or style is having the right fit. At the end of the day, I'm not really competing against anyone. I, I'm wearing clothes for the sole function of wearing clothes. And, and if it serves the purpose of me being clothed, or just me just looking great in front of other people, or just for myself, honestly, is all that I care about. One of my biggest buying tips for any of you guys is know your measurements, know your dimensions, know what fits right for you personally because this might look great on me but for some of you guys if it doesn't look great on you then there's really no point in copying this fit. Do you know what I mean? So since this video is really about realistic fits, which basically is something that I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't want to lie and pull on a fit with just grails and grills. This is literally what I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm a true believer that simple fits are the best fits, as long as the cut and the shape of the garments are fitted around your body, your physique. I think you can pull off a cheap outfit to like a thousand dollar outfit, you know what I mean? Like, there's a thing about black SLP denim too. You can buy a pair of black denim from Levi's or Uniqlo, tailor it, and make it look like a thousand dollars and look exactly the same. Take it with a grain of salt and try to incorporate a little bit more cheaper outfits and make them look elevated, so to speak. Such as what I have on right now, literally a gray hoodie, a pair of Isamiyaki, please, please. Air Force Ones. And speaking of pleats, please, I will still be taking pre-orders, but they will arrive around mid-May-ish. All the DMs that you guys have been sending me, um, I'm not ignoring them. I'm just trying to sort out all the previous orders first, ship them out, and then I'll get to you guys. So please be patient with me. I'm so sorry that I'm not responding in a timely manner. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Do you guys want to see more vlogs in Tokyo, whether it's you know, fashion oriented, food oriented, or do you want to see more outfit videos, more informative, or do you want to do a Q&A and know a little bit more about me? I did mention in my previous videos that I would be answering, you know, three to five questions each video, so let's get on with that. So the first question is, what is your ethnicity? I am half Japanese and half Korean. If you guys are wondering, I do speak all three languages. Um, I've lived in Korea for around 16, 17 years. I've never lived in Japan before, this is my first time, and it's my seventh month here. Love it. And I've lived in the States for four years. What are your favorite and least favorite things about Japan? Good question. Um, I fucking love Japan because it really changed my perception of 
how I view things, such as life, fashion, music, art, everything. My tips for you guys who really want to travel out here or even live here um, is really just to come with an open mind and really think about how people operate around this culture which is very different from the rest of the world. We're very innovative and we're very advanced in terms of technology, architecture, infrastructure, everything. But we still have this like traditionalist mindset where we still have to treat things with equal respect. Whether it's animate or inanimate, we treat everything like as if they're living things. So clothes, shoes. That's why Japanese people are so good at preserving cultures because they're literally just so passionate about what they do that they, they pay full attention to their craft. And there's a reason why I think the best food, the best everything is in Japan because they dedicate their lifetime just to focus on one thing and master it. A lot of people are gonna think that I sound bogus, but you gotta come see it for yourself. I proved it time and time that whenever I bring my friends to, let's say, a pizza spot or a pasta spot or a steakhouse, they easily say that that's the best food they have, they've ever had. So come see it for yourself. Next question, what are you and Connor working on? Yeah, that's gonna be a, uh, that's gonna be a TBA. You guys have to find out later. How did you meet all your friends on Instagram? Here's the thing about meeting people on Instagram. Like Instagram ruined everyone's perception of, you know, these influencers or whatever the fuck. Really, they're just like any other human beings. You just have to go out and reach out to them. If they respond, they respond. If they don't, they don't. Next question. What is your favorite item in your wardrobe? this belt. Why? Because I can literally wear a black outfit and still look fly as fuck. What are your favorite brands at the moment? The Ise Miyake Onpose, of course, N Hollywood, Uniqlo, Nike. I've been really fucking with Louis Vuitton recently. I don't own any Louis Vuitton pieces, but I definitely have my eye on some of the pieces that Virgil dropped. So I did pick up something. I'll show you guys when it arrives. I'm pretty fucking gassed. So wait for that video, which I'm probably gonna drop within the next week and a half to two weeks. So please be patient with me. I definitely will make it a fire ass video. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you guys wanna see next. I will see you within the next week. Peace.